By the time she was 27 years old, Jessie Lipskin had spent most of her life in New York City. But the excitement of living in the Big Apple quickly wore off. Manhattan isn't an easy place to live. She was tired of busting herself just so she could spend all her money on a ridiculously overpriced space to live in. Lipskin wanted to take control of her life. She was tempted to pack up her things and live on the road, but this would prove to be a challenging prospect. Lipskin had spent most of her life surrounded by nature. It had been right at her doorsteps when she was a student at Binghamton College. She wanted to be near green spaces, trees, and mountains again. In 2015, she finally took the plunge and did some research online to see if her plan of being surrounded by nature while enjoying the comfort of a modern home was even possible. After all, she didn't know anyone who had tried to build anything like this before. Luckily for her, she ended up purchasing a key element that would allow her to build her dream house. But could she really have the best of both worlds? Lipskin loved to travel. This inspired the idea of building her very own mobile home. But she didn't know the first thing about DIYing such a huge project. She wasn't even sure the kind of mobile home she wanted either. So she found inspiration on the documentary Garbage Warrior. The film explores sustainable living by using recycled materials to make a home. But what she came up with was bigger than she dreamed of. Lipskin had a hard time picturing what her dream home would look like, but she definitely didn't want a classic RV look for her mobile home. So she turned to the internet and found a vintage converted bus on eBay for $7,000. Now that she owned the perfect vehicle to build her dream house, she could start remodeling it from scratch. But she had to deal with some major obstacles she never saw coming. Still, this was the project of a lifetime for Lipskin, and she was willing to do anything to finish it, even if that meant learning how to drive. Lipskin was the proud owner of a 1966 Greyhound bus. It offered 400 square feet where she could finally start building her dream home. But the bus was in California, and she was in New York. It would have to be driven across the country before she could begin working on it. But that wasn't the only problem she encountered. Lipskin didn't have a driver's license. So if she wanted to make her dream come true, she had to learn how to drive stick shift to drive the bus around. Needless to say, she had enough motivation to study and take her driving test to get a license. But that was only step one. While Lipskin was focusing on getting her license, her incredible friends drove the bus from Paris, California to the East Coast. She then rented a place in upstate New York where she could work on her project. But then she took the bus to New Jersey where skilled professionals could begin the remodeling process. Lipskin and her friends stripped all the seats first. They needed to work on a clean canvas. Then they repainted the bus with white metallic paint. But she realized that she needed professional help in order to turn this bus into the kind of home that she was safe to live in. Lipskin was highly motivated, but she needed someone with construction experience to turn this bus into a mobile home with appliances, air conditioner, plumbing, and an electrical system. The interior would also need different rooms, so she and her friends brainstormed how the bus would look on the inside. Lipskin was an avid fan of DIY projects, but as she put it, I don't have experience with plumbing, electrical, carpentry needed for this project. Plus, there was a lot of obstacles she couldn't foresee. The big challenge was that it was very different from working on a home that's fixed in one location, she explained. So, in order to build her dream home, she called a team of skilled carpenters who've done this before. But she never imagined it would end up costing her almost three times as much as she expected. Speaking to Refinery29, Lipskin admitted that her being inexperienced ended up costing her a pretty penny. She underestimated how much her project would end up costing her. I thought it was going to cost maybe 40,000 US dollars max, but I don't know, maybe it was my lack of experience or that other people had no clue either. One of the larger purchases was working with a master carpenter because the hardest issue was that the bus wasn't level. Anywhere you park, it's going to be at a different angle. So working with draining was interesting, she added, but she was determined to finish converting the old bus into a space where she could live without having to worry about paying a mortgage, utilities, or property taxes. Everyone thought she was crazy, but Lipskin carried on, and the end results are simply unbelievable. They had to come up with the right angles for each structure so that whatever was built would remain intact while Lipskin drove the bus. The woodworking process added more time to the overall project, but slowly but surely Lipskin's mobile dream house was getting closer to completion. The team of experts built a fully functional, sustainable standing shower. Next to it was a slotted mahogany floor that allowed water to drip down through the boards so it could be channeled into the water tank they mounted on the bus's underside. This allowed Lipskin to recycle water, but did she have any space for her personal stuff? 
Lipskin and her work team designed a closet with optimized space so she could put her clothes, shoes, and other belongings. They wanted the bus to have three closets in total so she'd have plenty of storage room, but the electrical system would require some more creative thinking. The LED lighting system and polished hardwood floors gave the bus a nice flare. Once the electrical system was installed, the team chose an energy-efficient and eco-friendly refrigerator, a washing machine, a spin dryer, a hot water heater, and a propane tank. But there was one feature that was quite eye-catching. The bus was lined with windows, so when the team created Lipskin's kitchen, they made sure to create a beautiful space where she could enjoy the scenery while she cooked. The kitchen included a wooden countertop, which she helped build. Lipskin's kitchen had everything she could possibly need. They made sure that all of her appliances were aligned with her eco-friendly and energy-efficient vision. The team installed a state-of-the-art stovetop, an oven with its own corner, and an incredibly chic fridge. Lipskin kindly shared with Board Panda that they went with the igloo, 33-inch, 5.5 cubic foot, refrigerator in silver, counter depth from Home Depot. It's a fridge freezer, and it looks seriously chic. But her team wasn't the only one collaborating with this dreamy mobile home project. Lipskin was inspired by other people who built their very own tiny homes the way she did. She studied the step-by-step -step process they posted on Instagram, but she also documented her team's overall process too, and she came up with a really cool idea for the bedroom. Her bedroom would be the space where Lipskin would get to unwind and relax at the end of the day. So she decked it out with beautiful velvet curtains and a table in the back where she put her book collection on. If Lipskin wanted to curl up and read a good book, all she had to do was stretch her arm while in bed, but she still wanted to add a few touches that would make her feel cozy and warm. An oil painting found at Goodwill adorns the hallway. I think these finishing touches really help it feel more like a home than a bus," explained one of her friends. It took three years to finally convert the bus, but they did it. Now Lipskin had a fully furnished, fully functional mobile apartment that would allow her to travel the world. But there were still a few things she had to add to the bus before she could get behind the wheel and take off on a new adventure. She wanted to add some items to the bus, but a television set wasn't one of them. She wanted to listen to birds chirping in the morning and enjoy the scenery from the windows, so she felt a television would only distract her from that. But there was something else that would add a personal and very magical touch. Lipskin went to a Goodwill sale and bought an oil painting that looked great in the central hallway of her converted bus. Finally, she was living the life she always envisioned for herself. I wanted to have something where I could live sustainably, enjoy being outside more, and not have to worry about paying property taxes or a mortgage or any of those things," she said. And to make her bus even homelier, she added something else that made her space feel even more personal. She brought a set of dishes with her, which were functional and very decorative, but the china dishes were more meaningful to her because they belonged to her great-grandmother and were passed down through each generation. But this heirloom wasn't the only thing that made her converted bus so unique. Lipskin was a pro when it came to organizing and knew which items had to get tossed away to make more space. So she managed to organize everything in her confined space, and that was a skill she learned from living in her tiny Manhattan apartment. The best tip I've ever learned was to get rid of as much as you can and only holding on to items that have significance, she explained. If you hold on to a lot of stuff, you'll always need to create more space. But her converted bus project had some major downsides. Lipskin had learned new construction skills during the process, but she would neglected one thing she truly loved. She hadn't been able to read as much as she would have wanted, but it only got worse when she realized that the converted bus that she would worked on would have to be repurposed again. Lipskin was able to enjoy her beautiful mobile home for a couple years, but despite the effort she would put into making her dream into a reality, she put it up for sale on Craigslist for $149,000 with 100,000 miles on it, but she had a good reason to sell it. She told Refinery29 that she's selling her dream home because she has the opportunity to travel internationally in September, and I don't know when my return date is, so I want to be free for that experience, maybe even stay there, and then maybe downsize to an Airstream or something so it's easier to bring my home into the city. But although her journey had ended, the bus still had a new purpose. After its amazing adventures with Lipskin, the converted bus is now located in Joshua Tree National Park in Eastern California. It's now being used as an Airbnb rental that accommodates up to four travelers, but this quirky and unique property is not for everyone. Lipskin spoke with ABC News and shared what her mother originally thought about her DIY bus project. My mom thought I was crazy. She'd tell all the people in her apartment building, my daughter's buying a bus to live in, and she was right to be concerned. As it turns out, living in her converted bus wasn't as easy as it looked. Lipskin admitted to Refinery29 that living in a bus was pretty challenging at times. 
One of the hardest things for her was finding a place to park the bus, especially if you live in a parking lot surrounded by RVs since you're not really outside amongst nature. But that wasn't all. Figuring out the bathroom situation has also been a challenge. I never had a compostable toilet before, and using it was fine, but not having my own property to compost makes it difficult," she explained. But where is Lipskin living now? Now that she's in her 30s, Lipskin is working remotely and looking forward to traveling abroad while she works. That way, she doesn't have to feel like she's tied down by the responsibility of paying for a tiny apartment or maintaining a bus, so she'll have the chance to explore freedom on a whole new level.